Hello everybody, this is Sharon. and I have some exciting news I'd like to share with you guys. I was asked by Sherry Baldy to be on their YouTube Bestie Girl team. So um, I'll be sharing a project with you guys every month. Um, once a month, I'll be doing something on YouTube with um, some of her images. I'm already on the design team for her blog, so um, and I share those. I try to share those too, so just keep a lookout for them. And um, I'll list all the links to Sherry's store. Um, and everything below in her in the description bar So you guys go by and check check her out. She has some good sales. Sometimes you can um, get her stamps for 50% off So um, we'll go ahead and get started here. This is what you call a book book card or a box card I'm not sure but um uh, My butterfly kisses Arlene she um did a tutorial on this and so if you guys are interested I'll list the link to that tutorial in the description bar below and um, so that's how I uh, created this very simple but um what I did is I first started off just with some white cardstock and then I layered some blue cardstock next and then I just layered this paper collection um, this is by DCWV the French country stack I believe so I put that in the background and then I layered um, these pretty lace trims here that I just had in my stash on each side, the little flowers here. And then I just layered some flowers down here at the bottom. These are Recollections. And then these right here are Wild Orchid Crafts. And just put some of these little berries in here in different places just to make it look fuller. And then I added a little string bow here and put a little flower piece right here in the middle for like a little centerpiece. And then, of course, the, the cute little sherry baldy image here i colored her with my copet markers and um, i just love the stamp the little cute kitty right there i hope you guys can see that i think she's so adorable and then um this is a spellbinder's die in the back the white here and then this is a um another die i don't have it out right now but if you guys are interested just let me know when i just layered that on top and then across the top up here, it just says uh, Trinkets and Treasures. And this is the Spellbinders die that I just used. And I used two flowers on each side of that. And um, you can just slide that out for a little card that um, just goes in there. And um, so you could put a personal message on there if you wanted to. And then it just slides back down in there. And then there's a bow, a pink satin bow that I just adhered over here on the side here to hold it closed and then the inside of it looks like this um, you can't do a whole lot of embellishing to this because it you know closes flat and it will you know you, you can't do it or it won't be able to close so um, this is the same paper collection with the layered paper I just put a little place right here you know for sentiment area here these are spellbinders dies some more of the recollection flowers that I picked up at Michael's and then on this side over here, um, I did do the lace trim too at the top. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It's across the top, all the way across the top. And then I um, created this little box. This is a Spellbinders die. And it has a piece of acetate here in the middle. And this is another Recollections flower here. And so this little box lid just comes off for you to um, add your gift. So it just looks like that on the inside. And you could put, you know, a little small gift in here, maybe some candies or, you know, a little bracelet, a gift card or whatever. And so that, I just added that there. And um, that's basically it. Um, that's the way the back of it looks. And so then you just tie your ribbon back and um, to hold it closed so your goodies won't fall out of your box. And that's basically it. So um, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. I hope you like my project. And uh, don't forget to go by and check out Sherry's store. She has some of the cutest little images. Um, very easy to color. They're all, well, not all of them are digital, but she does have some that are digital. And you can download those and resize them to any size that you need for your project. So, and they're, you know, instant downloads, so you don't have to wait on any kind of shipping or anything like that. They'll just come to your computer and you print them off. Um, I use Microsoft Word to print mine off. That way you can go in there and you can size them the size that you want and you can print off, you know, as many images as you want to on that program. So, um, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. And thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.